of my career. Ugh! Palo's gone, but I still gotta scream! You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silence me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising, her whole rum factory. We're going to fuck it up, bankrupt her. By the time we're through, Marquesa won't even have any ass left money left. Her fucking propaganda machine took our voice, so we got only one option left. Our bullets. Make that bitch pay. Danny! Danny! My best friend, my sweet little piglet. What? You, me, Segunda, Main Square, drinks, now! Sounds like you got a head start. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there when I can. Go easy, bicho. Oye, sending a pic of Marquesa's propaganda trucks. Sorry you have to look at her face. <laughs> Just another reason to take them out. Been sick of hearing her propaganda bullshit since Castillo took over. Fuck them up, Danny. Factory. Time to make some noise. Adios to shitty rum. Eyes up, Danny. Camera. Adios, reinforcement.
Kaboom. Good, <laughs> like therapy. was for you, Talia. Maria's rum factory is gone. And so is the money she stole from it. <laughs> Eso! Now keep hitting her face. Billboards and shit, use fire, bullets, piss, puke, blood. Look, I don't care. Whatever you got. I'll stick to weapons. I want Maria to see herself burn. Remind Leatherface of her mortality, you know? Get this party started. Dale, dale. Marquesa. going to get the message now. Hola, took care of the propaganda. Fuck yeah, you did. Let's go a little bigger, see? Just heard those coming mierdas are putting up another fucking Anton statue at El Presidente Square. I swear, it's the only way that guy can get hurt. <laughs> it's as good as gone, Dalia. Silvio, motherfucker. Dahlia, I'm at the statue. Bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. Guess you gotta get creative, Gideon. See. Si. 
Bir. Maximus Matanzas is fucking dead. Radio Libertad is dead. We were the mouth of the revolution. Mouth. Mouth. And you know what's even worse? This bottle is empty. How fucked up is that? You and me got a date with some cervezas. And then those cervezas friends and family and cousins, every fucking cerveza on this whole stupid island. I have a plan. There's some soldiers here and they have booze, but they, they, they don't need it like, like, a, like a we do. <laughs> Liberate the cervezas, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get your liver ready. We're gonna put that little guy through the ringer. <sighs> Fuck you, it works. No, it That sound, there it is again.
It is the time to roll up our sleeves and work. To bear the hardship and sacrifice necessary to achieve my father's vision of the future. Hey, are you sad? I'm sad. Nice. What you get? Never mind. Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this. Priorities way. I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Danny, you hear that? Music! Come, Danny! Party time! <laughs> Come on, you little fucker! Let's dance! Buena. The fuck? Fuck you! Everybody dances! If Bicho is gonna dance, he's gonna dance to his own fucking music! You know what yeah, I Oye, mijita! <laughs> Hola, come on! Hey, got a request? Si! Can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! Well, I did tell you if you spend too long, you feel something will happen. <laughs> yes! This is my shit! <laughs> Buena. <sighs> I'm fucking dancing! <laughs> Danny, come drink with me. Hola. Oh, that's better, Bicho. Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here. Oh, shit. Phone. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Uh, Danny! Bicho, you come in mierda. Where'd you go? Danny? There's a really big dog here. <laughs> is, is that a cow? Where, where'd you find a cow? He's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are, I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it, bad dog. <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso?
Hey, how do you become a guerrilla? Huh? Que? Like, uh, for Libertad. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, Bicho. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push ups. What? Yeah, a, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. <laughs> and if you puke, they make you do math. <laughs> Mayeva la chingada, fucking man. No way, no way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> I can't. I, I can't look at our old graffiti. It makes my heart feel like a bag of dog shit. We need to cover it up. Go, Danny. Fake. Now is messed up. Fuck you, Castillo. Just like me. <laughs> okay, that's every single one. Really? How how many did you do? Like uh, at least a hundred. Nice. Drink. Danny, I need to hear their voices. I need Maximus Matanza right now. Damn, bicho, my little chalupa. I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. <laughs> Follow me. Let's make Segunda fucking dance for Libertad. going to remodel Maria's office. Hang on. There's a password. Ay, pinga. Um, one, two, three, four. Wait, that I think I'm done with this town. Then let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what is it? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, 
they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this. That's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends. Just like you. Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for they lost. After that, I was cadet 2683. Then, drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. Just like you. I use this. And you use that, huh? But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Let's see. Paolo's gone, Pichos a crying mess, and Talia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Talia. Don't give up on them yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. Grenade ready to. <laughs> we hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one on one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's shop. Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Okay. A special message from Presidente Castillo to Yara. with a heavy heart hmm? that I share this news. Did I? The next election must continue to be postponed in Democracy can only function in a country free of terrorism and free of fear. How many of our countrymen will be forced to vote with the gun of a guerrilla pointed at their How can you be expected to vote with the lies of Libertad confusing your minds? As president, I have sworn an oath to protect Yara. On the body. And so I must protect these democratic institutions as well. There will be no elections until Yara is free from even God's terror. But I will continue to uphold this promise. If I am El Presidente, what happened to you? I'm El Presidente. But not all artists the same. 
Danny, I've spotted reinforcements on the road heading your way. Spotted reinforcements on the road heading your way. to something. Press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benevides. Press passes? This is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot, and don't go in without us. You're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvia Balboa, Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. <whistles> nice. A lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. 
a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist Dr. Edgar Reyes discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. It's possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division. Practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. <clears throat> Ready for the next part of our this Vivo is adventure? Will be available after the presentation. <clears throat> Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Sprayed on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> No volunteers? Okay, I'll demonstrate. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. <sighs> In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer fighting tobacco compound called Yarantine. Found only in Yaren tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. This could happen. 
I hate her even more now than before. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rom. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a... Uh, I say it. Sneak peek. <laughs> so peek. Peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes. We don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. A new discovery. We are refining a drug to be stronger and improving delivery mechanisms. We have pills and injections and are working on chewables, patches, creams. What do you say to those who doubt you can keep all with them and for this drug? We should run! Nalia! Okay, okay! Someone go deal with terroristas! What the hell is going on? have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. 
You are also director. Do they truly are an academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Your mother is dead. Clara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. We can still get some good out of this. Maria's execution must have shook Anton. I'll believe it when I see oh, it. Yeah. Talk soon, Clara. Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Okay, I... I thought Radio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I... Nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport, and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. 
He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Palo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Palo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Paolo, what did you get yourself into? Save the alarm. Where are you, Paolo? Tight. Is the door locked to protect me or to protect you? Hola, Rojas. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe, but we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold them out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Just a area I wanted to see.
need some wheels. Hey, bicho! Look at Pablo! You are a real Yaren hero! Don't fuck with this. Shut city. up for it's a second. Like He's it. been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. Uh, a resort? Uh, what does that mean? Is Pablo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho, I'll call you when I have him, okay? Paolo, can you hear me? Paolo's not here. Fuck. Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Better watch myself. Special Sheep. forces, of course. Paolo! Answer if you can hear me! Paolo! It's Danny! Paolo! I love these new phones. They're so thin. Oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers. Danny, come on, Karina, you're safe. You're with me now. They put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Mr. Matias, fucking go! Oh, okay, okay, we meet there. <laughs> Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El fucking Doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. <clears throat> Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. 
You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the auto. Fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? says to me, he screams, pity, fuck. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It, it all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Danny? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. After the bullet went into my brain, I could still see it. I live just long enough to watch you and Lita leave me behind. Alejo, please stop. Not like this, not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny, drop the knife! I feel feel, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Nostalia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. <sighs> now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. <laughs> 